What's going on, my beautiful people? This is your Certified Life and Relationship Coach, Coach Court. In this video, we're going to be talking about a question that I get from a lot of the people in the community. And the question is, will I ever heal my AP? Now, I took the liberty to take in a couple emails. I asked them for their permission, if it was okay for me to use them. Really quick emails from a couple different uh, people in the community. And I wanted to just do a quick little breakdown of, you know, what I've done to heal and uh, also inform you guys about the course that is being released as of next week, which will be uh, October 6th, I want to say. And it's going to be a, a four week course where I'm going to be going with you guys, walking with you guys throughout the whole process of the things that I've done to heal myself and how you can heal post breakup uh, as an anxious, preoccupied person. Uh, but before I get into that, if you want my help personally, reach out to me on my website at www.fruitfulseeds with the Z at the end.com. And you will also see that the course should be available for pre registration now. I don't know if you call it pre registration or whatever you want to call it, but it's available for purchase. You guys go on the website. The course should be called Anxious Attachment Healing. Now, that is an option. If you go click the coaching section, you should be able to find that within that area. And, um, also, I still have those other coaching options for you, which is email coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. So I look forward to hearing from you guys. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into the emails that I received. All right. So, uh, hi, coach. <clears throat> I was wondering if you can give me some tips on how to become a more secure person. I've been this way my entire life, and I am 40, a 43-year-old man. I've been married twice and continue to show the same anxious behaviors in every relationship after. I am so sick of this. I've heard you say a few times that you are an anxious, preoccupied in recovery. How do you go about healing your style? I am at wit's end and could use any advice that you have to give. Thank you so much for taking the time to answer this email, coach. Cheers. The first one is find your purpose. A lot of times when I see men that are really struggling after breakups, they become really anxious. It's because most likely they've turned their girlfriends or wives into their purpose, which means they're lost. they lost their sense of self. Uh, they don't really know what's going on with themselves as far as like uh, ca even career wise, because usually you see where there's this imbalance in their lives where they stop working out. They stop putting their best foot forward in their career. Uh, they stop hanging out with friends uh, and their purpose became whoever it is that they were seeing. So it's important to realize that your purpose is not going to be what you choose at the age of 21. And then you go, you know, you go through all the way through debt. Uh, your purpose will change and you'll start to see that when things start to become a little bit uh, lethargic at work, like you become less motivated, less ambitious about doing those things that, that made you uh, really excited and made you li light up within your, your, your work or even in your relationship. Uh, the second thing that I've done was right away when the breakup happens, you want to assess the relationship. And then I'm going to go, I, I go a little bit more in depth about this in the course. Was this relationship really uh, something that you can see yourself being in long term, because most of the time we we paint the relationship in a better light than it actually was. And the old saying goes, you know, rejection breeds obsession. So you start to become obsessed over this person, but you're not actually seeing them for who they actually were. You know, you, you look back uh, at history with rose colored glasses on. So that's exactly what happens. That's something that's important for you to do immediately following the breakup. And you ha you may have to do it over and over again. You know, me personally, I had to do these things over and over and over again to, to really get it because um, it takes you to hear something multiple times in order for you to realize that, all right, this may actually be true, maybe actually the way to go about doing things. So assess the relationship is the second thing that you want to do. Let me get to this next email though. I don't want to make the video too long for you guys. Uh, hey, coach, I just wanted to let you know that I've watched a lot of your videos and I am extremely grateful for you. I have a, a question for you. I'm 26 years old and just got out of a two year relationship with the DA. I have struggled immensely after this breakup. I can barely eat sleep. Uh, I'm off. I can barely eat. I sleep awful and have lost 13 pounds since August. How do you deal with this pain? The pain is going to go, it's going to subside over time. You know, time, you know, helps the pain go away, but it doesn't heal. Cause I know that people say time heals all, but it really doesn't. Sometimes you just repress it for a really long time and it shows up in 
are manifest in ways in other relationships or in other areas of your life that you didn't realize it'll, it'll do that. Eat well, continue to work out. If you are somebody that work out, now I tell people all the time that if you don't work out, you know, those emotions get stuck in you. You know, emotions are just energy in motion. Um, you want to make sure that you get yourself moving and get yourself active because what we do is we, we stay stuck in this state and all the sorrow and the pain just gets trapped in there. This leads me to my third um, thing that I also put in a course, which is personal development. Personal development is huge. And that's a, it, it's, it's a lot that goes into personal development, which is studying, meditating, um, going back into your childhood, you know, doing, doing the self-reflection on your own life. And this is something I also go deeper in the course about. It's important for you to do that because if you don't, then, you know, you continue to obsess over this relationship. Now, I've been there where every single morning I woke up, I thought about this person. Every single night right before bedtime, I thought about this person. And it, it, it puts you in this, this, this loop, this perpetual state of uh, got to get, got to get this person back, got to get this person back. And it just, it doesn't help you, you know, because it takes two people, no matter how much worrying and anxiety that you have, how much depression that you have, how much, how much starving can you do of yourself for you to realize that this person is probably not going to come back just because you're, you're having this experience. You know, it, it's, it's all about you. It's time to put you first, you know, and I would love for you guys to join me on this journey on my course. You know, it's a four week course. I'm going to be doing releasing one uh, module every week up until completion. And then I'm thinking about doing a post uh, course, like meet and greet or Zoom session or whatever you want to call it with the people who signed up or, you know, we could find a figure out a way to do it a little bit more private. I love to do that. Um, but as of now, you know, as of 10-6-2021, 20, 20, I don't know if I'll be able to do that in the future because, you know, I'm living for now this present moment. So if you found this video of any value, please like, comment, and share. Reach out to me on my other social media accounts. Actually, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook is I am Coach Court. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys within the course. Appreciate you guys for making this community what it is. Thank you, guys. Now we'll talk to you soon.